Uh, dear TJ, me and my girlfriend had sex for the first time a little less than a month ago. We were both virgins before this. Her parents, despite being hardcore Christians, had said they might let her go on birth control because they knew the idea of her waiting until marriage was not realistic, and she had been going out with me a number of months. She was really scared to ask them a few months after, after they said this, but she did anyway. However, they said no because she was too young. However, goddamn, this is convoluted, we decided we couldn't wait any longer. When we finally had sex, I used a condom and it didn't tear or anything, but she hasn't had her period since that day, and we haven't had sex since. Granted, it's not like clockwork for her, but it has been a few for a few months. I am fucking going out of my mind between worry and anger at her parents and myself. Do I have anything to worry about? What should I do? Figures I get punished for trying to be a good guy my whole fucking life. There is no God. Luke. Now, I have a very simple solution for this guy to worry. Go to the store. Buy a fucking pregnancy test. Make the girl piss on her. Positive? Oh shit, what do I do now? Not positive? Hey, <laughs> life is fine. Okay, you used a condom. There was no tears in the condom, which I don't know why you inspected your cum Latin tube after you did it, but I guess you were that worried. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I mean, it, you know, if the, it, I just don't know why you'd be worried about it. I mean, two months, I mean, but I don't know, man. You, you, actually, no, I, actually, I do know why you'd be worried, because this is the first time, but fuck, he's just, you're fucked, dude. I don't know. <laughs> well, I mean, Get a pregnancy test, man. I mean, they got this product out there on the market. That's what it's for. I mean, they're not just pregnancy tests that you're, like, supposed to look at and wish you could have. I mean, they are obtainable. You can go to a drugstore and buy one. And, 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 and for, while you're on the subject, why does she need her parents' permission to get birth control pills? I mean, Planned Parenthood, dude, they don't have that permission. I mean, you know, yeah. I mean, she can get them. You can get them. If you've got money, you can get fucking birth control pills. Should they, uh, I believe they give them to you, too. Yeah, I mean, you know, maybe some conservative-ass drugstore will turn you down, but if you look around, you'll find one that'll give you one. And then if you go to us, there's medical clinics, with Planned Parenthood stuff, they'll give them to you. So, I mean, there's no excuse for her not having birth control, and there's no excuse for you not getting a pregnancy test. I mean, what are you, stupid, man? Come on. I mean, and if you're wearing a condom... How can you get her pregnant? It's, it's pretty much impossible. There's almost no way it can happen, okay? And if she does turn out to be pregnant, you need to start accusing the bitch of sleeping with someone else. Uh, you know, because Hell that yeah. seems most likely to me in that scenario. Because, I mean, condoms do fail every once in a while, but the odds of it are so infinitesimal that it, it's really not even worth worrying about, okay? Uh, a lot of times, and also, I mean... You ever, I mean, she might just be lying to you, too, to get you closer to her. I mean, there's plenty of things that can be going on here. But you haven't even taken the first step towards confirming whether or not she's pregnant or not. You know, so, I mean, I can't have much sympathy for you when you're too stupid yeah. to even just go out there and take the proper freaking measures to decide what the problem is or whether or not there's a problem at all. Talk to your bitch, man. Communication. Communication! That's one really, really of his problems. I think his problem is communication. He doesn't talk to her. Like, I mean, he, he, he might think he does, but I mean, when you have this something this convoluted, and you have this much worry over this shit, bitch is playing the guy. Yeah, I think you're right. Anyway, let's just... Uh, dear TJ, I consider myself a fairly intelligent individual, which surprisingly is a character trait most women don't appear to be interested in. Most of them seem to desire an intellectually devoid pretty boy bastard who shops at Hollister and drinks organic soda water. <laughs> I know I shouldn't sell out my beliefs, but my balls are fucking blue. What should I do? Cheers, Jordan. Well, first of all, Jordan, uh, what beliefs are you talking about? Isn't it your belief that you should get some ass? Yeah. I mean, doesn't that belief kind of supersede other beliefs? I mean, what is more important? The hot, stupid, big-breasted girl knowing your crazy beliefs, or you having sex with the cra with the, the big-breasted girl. I mean, you don't need to constantly be an intellectual in front of everyone. It's okay to be stupid to get some ass every now and then. I mean, you still know you're smart, and they're too stupid to understand what the hell you're talking about anyway, so why are you bothering trying to impress them with your genius? Uh, that's just my take. Yeah, um... It's a common thing on most guys that they think that they have to, uh, you know, if they're not themselves, then it's wrong trying to get asked. Because it's, it's total misconception. 
Um, generally, what the problem is is that one, you're not being confident and assertive enough in yourself when you're trying to hit on these girls, or you're, or you're too focused on an introspective uh, way where you're thinking, "Oh, they're so stupid. Oh, this and that and that." And, you know, you know, you're already you're already writing this you know letter, and you're saying, "Oh, I can't stop. My balls are blue." Dude, just fucking go out there and get laid. I mean, if you're, if you're that desperate, you know, call an escort. I mean, or just go hit, go to a fucking bar and just wait till about 2 a.m. and say, Hey, how you doing? Oh my god, he's so sexy. Yeah, I mean, there's always fat chicks. Yeah, I mean, if all else fails, just fuck something that's below what you normally fuck, just, you know, just to get back in the groove. But I mean, you know, it's, it's not so much about not being yourself. It's about being someone else that wants to get laid and is confident and is, that's, because, you know, obviously that's probably not you. But you have to pretend that you are in order to get laid. So, with that convoluted advice, good sir, go out into the yeah. world <laughs> and spread your seed. Uh, Dear TJ, I, me, and my friends, that's a great way wow. to start a sentence, <laughs> think I am a good skater. I mean, with grammar skills like that, you better be. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but no one wants to give me a sponsorship. What should I do? Thanks, Adam B. See, well, well, check this out, Adam. Uh, you want to be a skater, and, and you know, no one's going to sponsor you or whatever. Uh, you're going to go promote yourself, man. I mean, go get a video camera, film yourself doing some skater tricks and all that nonsense. And start putting them on YouTube and start drawing people to them. I mean, you know, just do everything in your power to get yourself out there. I guarantee you that if a lot of people see you skating and you're really as good as you say you are, you're really worthy of sponsorship, someone's going to jump on the sponsorship bandwagon, you know? So, uh, you know, just start doing that. Because, uh, I mean, no one's just going to sponsor you like, hey, look how good I am. I can promise you I'm good. You need to start... Put yourself out there, uh, do YouTube videos, put videos on MySpace, you know, join skater communities. Do everything in your power to promote yourself. Because that's really the key, is self-promotion. That's how I got this big, bloated channel with a bunch of freaking retards watching me. Self-promotion. That's what you got to do, man. Um, and, uh, you know, you better fucking make it as a skater, dude, because with, with these grammar skills... You yeah, you ain't got much to fall back on, right? <laughs> yeah. you're, you're not going to become a famous author of uh, yeah, anthropology yeah. or something. Yeah, you're, you're no, no astrophysicist positions in your future, I'm sorry to say. Dear TJ, I am a 20-year-old male, and I am considerate, considered about... I don't know what, consider, what does considered about mean. I am uh, considered about my female friend Angela. Concerned. 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 Oh, I'm a genius. <laughs> Concerned about my female friend Angela. She has lost 20 pounds even though she was really skinny to begin with. I have tried to tell her that she is skinny enough and should start gaining weight because she looks like a girl you would see on Dr. Phil. But whenever I tell her she feels like I'm making fun of her, how do I tell her she is too skinny and should start to gain weight or check into rehab without making her feel attacked? Well, you can't really do it, man. you got to attack her. I mean, start calling her shit like Skeletor or Bony or whatever, you know. Start telling her she looks disgusting and you can see her ribs and it's just nasty and she looks unhealthy. And you know what I mean? Like, you used the guys probably revolted by her. I mean, you got to make her feel bad about her current body type. I mean, that's how... The reason that she did this in the first place was because she probably felt like she was fat, okay? So you got to make her feel like she's too damn skinny. You gotta be like, oh, oh, oh. You gotta like, kind of like, look at her and be like, girl, can you put more clothes on? Because I mean, your bones and your arms are just really off-putting, you know? Because I mean, no, you just look like a skeleton with a thin layer of flesh just like barely stretched on it. I can see your veins. You're grossing me out. And she might not want to be your friend anymore, but if you instill enough insecurity in her, she'll gain the weight back. You know. Uh, failing that, you need to just let me, like sit down with her and some other friends, because I mean, other people have got to be concerned if she's this bad off. Sit down with her and her friends and her parents, if you can get them on your side, and say, look, bitch, you need to eat some Oreos, you're too damn skinny, it's freaking us out. That's a, we call it good old fashioned intervention, you know, uh, I don't understand these people that, I, I, I basically refer to them as American Ethiopians, because they don't eat even though they can, it's just ridiculous. It, it, you know, they say it's a mental health issue, and it probably is. So what most likely I think needs to be done is you probably need a, an authority figure in her life, someone she respects, to really talk to her and say, you know, this is wrong. You're wasting away. It's, this is stupid. You're, you know, you have problems. You need help. Yeah, I mean, just you need to find someone. I mean, like, her parents should be doing something, first of all. I mean, you need to find someone, you know, who's going to talk to her if she's...